Welcome back to Viking Football with Bruce Barnum as the Vikings get ready to open Big Sky Conference play this Saturday. They host Montana State at Hillsborough Stadium. Kickoff is 2 p.m. And coach, this is what it's all about. This is where we really get serious and the games have the most importance, Big Sky Conference play. It is. Uh, the parity uh, in the Big Sky Conference that goes across the board. You, you know, uh, there are the top tier teams and you know, some guys are a little bigger, some guys a little faster, but um, uh, been in very few football games in the Big Sky Conference uh, that somebody uh, wins by 50. All right, and we'll take a, a look at Montana State in just a moment. We're going to recap College of Idaho uh, just for a few minutes. And, Coach, you know, we talk offense a lot. We talk quarterbacks a lot. I want to talk defense because the defense was very good against College of Idaho. Uh, most significant to me, Four forced turnovers. It's been a long time since the Vikings have been able to do that. Uh, got a lot of points off those turnovers, and boy, that sure makes the game a lot different and makes it different for the offense as well. It takes a lot of pressure off the offense. Not that that really mattered on Saturday, but you had to feel good about your defensive effort. Very good. Uh, some guys were showing up. The, uh, you hit it. The turnovers were, were, were key. Uh, Coach Sadat's been preaching that since he's been here, and between that and the quarterback pressure, and uh, they got after. Uh, the College of Idaho is fun to watch, you know, and it gives offense opportunities, you know, that we don't have uh, when you get those turnovers. And um, we only traded one back, I believe, uh, with uh, Davis Cutter's uh, very circus-like fumble. But um, that was good uh, to win the turnover battle by three. And when you talk defense, uh, the Vikings uh, did a few different things on defense, uh, ran some blitzes out there. Specifically, I'm going to talk about Anthony Adams, a redshirt freshman, a guy that was highly touted. Uh, he had a few issues early in the game, but then he made a bunch of big plays, put a lot of pressure on the quarterback coming out of that safety position, a new pit position for him last week. It did. Uh, early he got turned around a little bit, but fought through adversity uh, and played very well. That was fun to watch. Uh, Mr. Adams do that, you know, between him and, you know, they saw Larry Ross in the backfield with a sack or uh, and one and a half sacks, but uh, that's how uh, it's being coached as far as the new look. We have to be able to get turnovers. Uh, we have to put pressure on the quarterback. And I think you got what you wanted offensively. You talked about employing a lot more guys, and that certainly happened from a receiving standpoint. You got Dagby in the end zone, Talala Motu in the end zone, Davis Cutter. Uh, had a circus fumble, but he also made a circus catch there late in the game, a tremendous catch uh, for a touchdown. So uh, does that really kind of get what you wanted in terms of building everyone's confidence? It does. Uh, between that and fighting, we were kind of searching uh, our depth. Who do we have? And that was our final game to do that. And I read one of your deals, Mike. I don't know if I've ever had nine different people uh, get across the goal line. Uh, that was fun. Uh, that's got to help confidence, you know. Anybody that touches the football, you know, they, they love that little bite of glory. So uh, to see that um, coming into this week, you know, now everything's real, quote, as far as Big Sky Conference, it uh, can't hurt. Yeah, you have nine different people score touchdowns. You have, I believe it was 10 or 11 different people make tackles for losses. Got a lot of smiles in the locker room. It was. You know, it, it was time for us to get back on the W train, uh, Mike. Uh, we needed that Saturday. You know, uh, when, when you play the money games, et cetera, you know our schedule. Um, it's good to have one like that uh, where we're the, quote, Oregon or the money game. Uh, so, uh, again, uh, this game uh, is 90% mental, they say. So having that, you know, a little sugar uh, put on us going into uh, this week is good. Well, the way I look at it, it's 90% physical, which is what, why I don't get anywhere near the field. All right, uh, let's talk Montana State now. Uh, the Bobcats come in at 2-1, and one, and, you know, we talk about Barney Ball, tough fundamental football. You probably admire that program a little bit because traditionally that's what they've been, a tough fundamental team, a team that doesn't make a lot of mistakes, a team that runs the football well, and it's kind of been that way with them year in and year out, no matter who's been coaching there. It has, and, and shows continuing it. He's, he's got his twist on it, but... Between him and Gregor, they're tough. It's a barroom brawl game um, when you, when you play Bozeman. So um, trying to prepare the kids, you know, for that. Um, but um, because we have a lot of new faces, um, but uh, they're coming with an edge. Um, they've they've had it in the win loss category. I read your thing again on how many times we beat Montana State, but. Um, that's how they play football. I do admire it. Uh, you know, I admire their football team. You see it on film. Uh, but we're going to do our best to match that. 
And now the Bobcats won a close game last year, 30 to 22 in Bozeman. But the last time they were here in town, uh, the Vikings got a win. So uh, hope to uh, continue that streak at home at least. And as we talked previously, you said, uh, you know, one of the things about this team is they are a big physical team, particularly on defense. They are. Their front seven uh, gets after it. You know, there's a couple guys up there that we played against last uh, three years. Um, their weight room uh, is paying off for them uh, because they're big, thick athletes. Um, so last time, we're not looking at the past. Uh, if I do that, <laughs> we'll get in trouble, Mike. But I'm um, looking at the future. Um, and again, um, a lot of film watched this week by our guys. It's, you get a little more intense because they know what it is by uh, going to the Big Sky Conference. So um, we're excited uh, to be able to play against Montana, a team like Montana State. And then offensively, they have a couple of different quarterbacks uh, who have played for them. One throws the ball pretty well. One runs the ball pretty well. That sounds familiar. We've uh, faced a team like that last week. Um, and w what are some of the keys to stopping this team? Well, I, I know the defense is prepped for it uh, just because they do it out here in our practice field. Um, so uh, it, it's more being aware. You know, our defense knows when Jelani's in uh, compared to Davis Alexander. So um, it, it, it's just a play call and deal um, for their coordinator uh, more than anything. But um, again, our guys have been doing that since uh, the start of camp. Okay, keys to victory for the Vikings this Saturday. Turnovers is huge. Uh, we have to stop the run with Bozeman. Um, they love to run the football, you know, and um, that'll, I'm sure that'll be key on their deal. Uh, and uh, the field position. We have to get in field position so it's e easier to score. So uh, the basics, uh, and there's no, no tricks uh, to this week. Uh, you better be ready. Uh, you, know, you better strap it up and, and be ready to go 60 minutes because any Big Sky football game, like you know, it, it comes down to a handful of plays, it seems, on who wins or loses. So you need to be ready to go on every snap. All right, there it is. The Vikings hosting Montana State this Saturday, Hillsborough Stadium, 2 p.m. You can hear the game on Rip City Radio, 620 a.m. There is a live stream as well on Pluto TV and WatchBigSky.com. Also, come on out and see the game. You can get your tickets, all the information on Viking football. You'll find it at GoVikes.com.